What's going on guys? So when buying a new vehicle that you plan on keeping for a while, there's several different things you want to go out and do to help the longevity of certain things. A lot of people go out and get ceramic coat or a clear wrap put on, which we have an appointment scheduled to get something done to the truck. It's going to be like a month, unfortunately, but that'll be in a future video. Uh, but a lot of people overlook the engine. So yeah, some people go out and they'll immediately swap over to their good oil, full synthetic, stuff that they like, right? So on pretty much all vehicles, you're going to have two PCV hoses that reroute unburned oil and just junk that doesn't get burned in the engine back into your intake in order to get reburned and then burn it all out, right? Well, it's not really something you want dumped back into your intake. So there is a solution to that and that's what we're going to be installing today. We went with the JLT 3.0 oil separator. It's a driver's side and that's going to be perfect to collect all the crap that would be circulated back into your engine. So this right here work on 19 to 21, five threes and six twos, which we'll do a quick look. This is a six two truck. Essentially, you're not gonna notice any difference from the five three except right here on the air box. It does say 6.2 right there. But at, as far as like looking at them side by side, I, I don't think you really can tell much of a difference. JLT card, we got some instructions. And this should be a super, super easy install, I would assume. There's our kit, so show y'all. And you're gonna basically just check this whenever you check your oil. I mean, you can check it more often if you want, but I've had these on several Mustangs and they've worked very good. It's essentially just gonna collect all the moisture and unburned oils and crap, and it's just gonna put it in here, and then you just empty it out, and that way it doesn't get circulated back into your engine for it to build up gunk and all that kind of crap. So these things are super helpful if you do plan on keeping your truck your vehicle, car, truck, whatever, for an extended period of time. If you're gonna, you know, keep your truck for a year and then sell it, probably not something to worry about. Let the next guy worry about it. But um, this is a pretty inexpensive way to just kind of help ensure your vehicle is gonna not have any of that crap built up. There is our mounting hardware. Hey, uh, Y'all already know we got our first sticker for when we get our brow put on. We're gonna, you know, we're we gonna stick a bomb the inside. So let's go. JLT coming in clutch, first sticker. 6.2 has got a different hose than the 5.3, but essentially the same thing. Quickly look over here. That's our passenger side one right there that goes from that side up into this intake. And then right here, our driver's side on the 6.2, we got right here and then going up into the beginning of the front of the intake manifold right there behind the throttle body. On the five threes, they go from here to right there. That's why it had the hose bent around like this to there. So if you get a five three, yours is gonna be going here. Us six twos, our hose is gonna be running right here. So first things first, we gotta take this coolant reservoir tank off or at least loosen it up. So 10 mil bolt right there. And then these things will actually just pop out. Just cause I think this is hilarious how I'm up in here filming this. This is how I'm filming this. Not unscrew that cat like it tried to spin. That would not be good because I just drove this thing. All right, popped her loose. Now we can mount our bracket up. Before we do that though, let's go ahead and remove the stock PCV hose. Always want to say PVC. So right here, your little gray tab. Push it and it will slide off. Can be a little bit tight, but once you do the top one, you can rotate it a little bit. Get your finger in there, and out she comes. Tiny little bitty guy. Let's go ahead and get our mount hooked up. I don't really know why they double brand it. I guess if you want to make your own like custom mount, you could. this one on in between stick it on there and it actually comes with a nut to put on here just to ensure 
it doesn't pop loose. 10 mil. We're gonna go ahead and throw in our lower coolant bolt. And now we can go ahead and attach these guys. Obviously your shorter one. It's going straight down, listen for the audible click. That one's locked on. And obviously this guy running underneath our intake. Right here, listen for the click. There we go. And just like that, our JLT 3.0 oil separator is completely installed. And now we have a peace of mind knowing that our 6.2 or 5.3 is not gonna be getting all that nasty moisture and oil particles and crap, all that jam back in the intake because we just, we don't want that. We want some fresh air. We don't want that junk. If it didn't burn, send that junk out the exhaust pipe. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about y'all, but I think this thing needs a big old fat cold air intake in here pronto. Like we need that sound. We need that performance. We got our oil separator going. It's time to dress this thing up and get it sounding right. Super, super easy install, but it is one of those things that is really good to do to your new vehicle or even not your new vehicle. Just something that you plan on keeping for a long time, maybe your entire life, who knows? Get you an oil separator. It's gonna keep all that crap out of the engine and it's just good for the engine. It's just healthy. It's gonna thank you. It's fairly inexpensive and these things do work. Obviously, we'll have updates. It says every 10,000 miles to check it. I just do it every oil change. I've had these on several 5.0 Mustangs in the past. They always collect stuff. It's disgusting, some of the things that come out of your engine. You know, it's good to catch it so it doesn't get cycled back in there. So we'll definitely do an update when I do my oil change or in 5,000 miles or whatever the case. So be sure to subscribe to see what kind of junk comes out of the 6.2 because y'all know we do be romping on this thing and I'm sure some stuff gets bypassed and uh, we're going to catch it now. So that is it for this install. Hopefully y'all did enjoy. We got the muffler delete done. We got the oil separator on. All right, guys, so that's about going to do it for this video. Hopefully y'all did enjoy. Many, many more parts coming to the Trail Boss in the very near future. We're doing the slow and steady modifying the truck like I did with Baby Squad. I don't want to do the whole like buy all the parts, which I've got a lot of parts, and install them in one video. I just, you know, it's cool. It looks flashy, but I like the slow and steady, like let's install them part by part and just watch the truck progress to what it's going to become. And let me tell you, it's going to be freaking awesome. So as of right now, we got the muffler delete and now we got the JLT oil separator. Very, very soon, we're going to be doing some things to change up the look, make the truck sound better and uh eventually she's gonna, she gonna be looking right let me just say that so definitely if you hit, haven't hit the subscribe button hit that right now leave a like if you did enjoy comment down below what you want to see done next and i will see y'all in the next video